Ó, oh, agora vamos falar um pouco de cripto. E eu estou com o um Head de Cripto, o Jack A, numa empresa de, do Reino Unido, UK, é, Unlimited. Hi, Jack. How are you? Good. Yeah, great. Muito obrigado, Jack, pela sua é, participação aqui. E a primeira pergunta é, o mercado cripto, o mercado de fintechs financeiro, é um assunto aqui do Web Summit. E a gente teve vários speakers falando sobre isso. Eu gostaria que você falasse um pouco sobre o mercado cripto. Como é que vocês estão observando? So, I think that... Um... Fintech and crypto are quickly converging, right? And it's a very exciting time. I mean, I mean, I know that in the kind of greater market, in the stock market, you know, we have you know higher interest rates that's causing the cost of capital to be higher for a lot of these uh, fast growth companies to have a lot of problems in the short run. But that doesn't really have anything to do with the technological development that's been progressing over the past 10, 20 years. You know, I mean, even in terms of what's happening in the Web 2 space with banking, banking as a service, you know, uh, neo banks and the ability to spin up store value facilities attached to a credit card or a debit card attached to a bank account, right? And the ability to transfer value between them, right? In these closed loop ledgers, you know, all the innovation that's been happening in the Web2 space has been very exciting in and of itself, right? And now that, you know, kind of crypto has come onto the scene, it's very legitimate, um, it's a very legitimate industry now in terms of what it's doing on the world stage, right? I mean, obviously you have kind of this euro dollar and the RMB ruble versus Bitcoin and crypto and the blockchain. So so I think that is definitely converging, right? And, and here at Unlimited, you know, we are kind of like a web 2.5 company because, you know, we're kind of bridging web 2, uh, fintech and better finance with web 3 in terms of, you know, web 3 onboarding onto DeFi and GameFi on different uh, blockchain networks, right? So, you know, we, We support basically fiat to crypto or, uh, you know, fiat to, uh, or the payment network in the traditional sense, in the Web2 sense, to public blockchain networks and tokens issued on top of public, public blockchain networks. So, yeah, you know, definitely there's a lot of conversions in so many different um, Uh, areas. Yeah. Very nice, Jack. É, você poderia falar um pouco também, você citou a Unlimited, é, poderia citar um pouco como é que é a sua empresa, o que, que vocês estão é, atuando, como é que é o negócio de vocês? So, Unlimited is a payment company that's been around for 13 years, right? We have about 500 employees worldwide, uh, and uh, on top of kind of this payment infrastructure that we built up over the years, we're now kind of launching this crypto stack on top of it, right? And what does that mean, right? As I mentioned at first, You know, we're kind of going from traditional payment networks to public blockchain networks, right? You have, you know, Visa, Master, uh, Amex, and Discover, JCB, or Union Pay, or other like kind of local banking rails, right? Like ACH in the U.S. or Chats in Hong Kong, Interact in Canada, or you know, SEPA in Europe, and, and all these different bank rails and bank login payment rails, right? So on top of that kind of uh, Web 2 payment stack, we're now building kind of this Web 3 blockchain stack, right? So that we can be a secure bridge between Web 2 and Web 3. Right, and this roughly translates into basically, you know, fiat to crypto and crypto to fiat, right? So, you know, in, in the crypto space, we call ourselves a fiat on and off ramp, right? Fiat on and off ramp is a combination of different modules, uh, one of which is payments, obviously, right? So, so the, the mothership company is Unlimited, on top of which we're building GateFi, right? GateFi by Unlimited is a fiat on ramp, yeah. Nice. E vocês já olharam para o mercado brasileiro, o mercado da América Latina, de alguma forma especial? Yeah, yeah, so so Unlimited, uh has local acquiring capabilities in Brazil, right? They are locally regulated as a payment institution, right? So that means that they have access to a lot of different payment methods, such as PIX, Boleto, right? Uh, obviously, the card networks as well, like Visa and Master, right? So, and those are all different payment rails that we will be bringing to the fiat on ramp that is GateFi, right? So that we can, you know, help a user to go from their bank account, like through Boleto or through PIX, to Ethereum or to Bitcoin. Right, or a token on Ethereum, right, and, and other EVM chains. So, yeah, we, we definitely um, are looking at the Brazilian market. It's one of the kind of hottest markets, right, uh, in terms of growth, in terms of crypto growth, right? And, and like I'm saying, like, this is all in the backdrop of a slowing economy worldwide. That doesn't mean that crypto is slowing, right? Crypto is actually moving blazing fast, right, on a regional basis in different countries. There's more regulatory certainty there's more regulatory frameworks being spun up by the by the regulatory bodies in different jurisdictions, right? And that provides certainty for market actors to come in and, and you know, take venture capital money or their own private money and, and to launch different projects. So there are so many different good projects that's pushing the boundary of 
of how blockchain touches different industries, specifically within payments and uh, fintech and finance. I think uh, you know it's a very vibrant uh, local ecosystem there. E para a gente fechar aqui a nossa conversa, Jack, você poderia passar uma mensagem final para a audiência, para alguma tecnologia que eles devam olhar, ou então alguma dica, um insight? Yeah, so you know, I think this is a really good time to take a look at what you can do in the crypto space, in the blockchain space, right? There are so many good enterprise grade tools. It's not 2017, it's not 2014. There are so many good enterprise level tools in the blockchain space for node provisioning, for fiat on and off ramp, uh, for other you know, DAO tooling, for treasury management, key management, MPC or smart contract wallet. There's so many different enterprise tools out there now that are full of vibrant uh, team and builders, right? And like I'm saying, there is no slowdown in the crypto space. It is literally the fastest space in every industry, right? Out of every industry, we are the fastest paced uh, kind of uh, industry uh, that is crypto, right? So, so I think there's a lot of revolutionary builders that, are, that have high conviction that regardless of bear markets or bull runs, they are here to build. And in fact, it's better to build in a bear market because it's quieter, there's less noise, right? And there's less froth, right? And we're able to just focus and build. So, so I think there's a lot of great builders and a lot of great enterprise tools. And if you want to, you know, do anything in the NFT space, feel free to contact Unlimited, right? Unlimited international expansion, unlimited minting of NFTs. So. Congratulations. Thank you very much, Jack. É o Digitalks, a gente se vê por aí. O Digitalx no Web Summit 2022 conta com o patrocínio de Conteúdo Urbano e o apoio de Abrad, App, Mundo do Marketing e Startup.